Hello and welcome to the Service Tracker Support User video series. This video covers creating a client. The client is the most important entity within the system. As you can see, it's the base in the high level image on screen. Without a client, we can't create sites, contracts, or visits. So to access the client screen, simply click on clients. We now enter the client homepage. So from the homepage, we're able to select our different views and what we see. So here we could go all clients, um, clients that I've created, the um, new clients within the week, recently viewed clients, and this will change the views that sit down here. Um, to do that, if you want to create your own ones, you can also create a new view, but we'll create a video to show you how to do that. Um, so to actually create a client, simply click new. So we're now in the new client screen. So the first thing that we need to, to notice is these little red lines. This um, simply means that it's required information. So we've got to make sure those fields are being populated. Um, there may be more on your screen, um, depending on, on what's being requested on the initial setup. These are all configurable, so we can make sure there's more in there. And if you want things to be um, more configured, then we can. So we're going to create the first client name. Um, and the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a client called Outdoor Adventure. Um, the, the next one below that is the, the link if there's going to be a parent um, parent link. So what we do here is if you've got um, some clients which have um, a, a hierarchy, so you've got a head office and you've got all the subsites, um, we'd recommend that you go and create the head office first. And then when you start creating all of the subsites, we simply go and find the uh, head office in here in the, in the find icon and we type their name in and look for them and then we can add them in. Um, because this is a single site I'm not going to do that but that's what you would normally do. So we're then going to add um, a mobile number in or a phone number here. Um, that's contact number and then we're going to add a fax number and a website address. Okay. Um, and we're now going to progress onto the additional information. So all of the drop down boxes here are configurable, customizable. So whatever you guys want, um, we can add more things in there. You just need to let us know. In this instance, it's the type of um, client. So we know this one's going to be a customer. Um, the industry is the sort of a genre where, where it's based. So this one is a uh, recreation sort of company. Um, and the rating. So some of our clients will actually use a, a gold, silver, or bronze or maybe a four hour, eight hour, 16 hour response just so they can group their clients into maybe who pays a little bit more and, and, and gets a, a better kind of service. This instance it's just a, a, a hot, warm or cold so it's, it's for leads so we're not going to use that one. Um, description, you can put a bit of a description about the, the um, client there. Um, and then the, the billing address for where it's going. If it's a single site, um, you don't need to add any information in the site bit, site address here. You just literally fill in the billing information and it'll be pre-populated. So because this one's going to be a single site, okay, we're going to start populating this. Okay, and it's important that we get as much information as we can um, and that the postal code is correct because the postal code is what's being picked up later on when, when it looks at the mapping and the geolocation which is used for um, the technicians when they're on site so they can uh, identify where it is. Um, the next one we've got to fill in is service territory. So service territory, um, there will be an admin series that are on setting up service territories um, if you haven't got any set up. But your service territories are if you're dividing your workforce. So you may have a north, south, the east and a west. So only north technicians will deal with um, clients in the north area. So this is where we would set that. So we're basically saying which territory is this sat in. So we can click on the box and we can have a, a look, see if we can find it. So this one's going to be in north. So there you go, that's north. We don't need to worry about the mapping status because that will be updated automatically. Um, the employees is the number of employees. So in this instance, we're just going to put 10. Um, and the annual revenue. So 
we have um, multiple uses for the annual revenue. It's an estimate estimate of the um, of what the client um, is is likely to give us. Um, that's what some people use it for. Um, it's also configured so only admin um, sorry so admin don't see it, but managers can see it. So it's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to leave this one blank. Um, the next one is the standard compliance. So what this is, if we hover over and um, on the little question mark, it says, uh, do you want technicians to complete standard compliance questions on the mobile? So whenever, um, if we tick this box, so whenever uh, a technician is on site, uh, on this specific site, um, they will have to ask a couple of um, questions and they'll have to tick it. So it'll be the risk assessment and the safe system to work, the safe system of work. Um, so that will force them to have to tick those boxes. Um, and that's it. So if we now click save, that's set up the um, client. So you can see we've got Outdoor Adventure is now a client and we've got the information that we've been populating. Thank you for watching and the next video we'd recommend you watch is creating a contact.